All right, the breaking news this morning, uh, two people dead, more than 50 injured and taken to local hospitals after an Amtrak train with more than 140 people on it crashed into a CSX freight train in South Carolina. Now, right now, the, there is a, a news conference that's happening uh, with the South Carolina Emergency Management and Lexington uh, County Sheriff. Uh, we'll get the, the new information from that and bring that to you as soon as we yeah. uh, get that in. We are monitoring that. We know that the engine derailed. There were several passenger cars that derailed. Three area hospitals are treating those victims, but all of the passengers are now off the train. This is one of the first pictures we received, uh, as you can see it there, with, with at least uh, one or two of those cars that are off the tracks. This happened about just a little more than four hours ago at 2.30 in the morning in, in Casey, South Carolina, or Pine Ridge uh, is what they're uh, saying uh, locally there. The train was running between New York and Miami, and uh, those uh, folks who are not injured have been transported to Pine Ridge Middle School. Uh, Red Cross is assisting them there. Uh, as they try now to determine where they go from here. This is a long route. We just talked to one of the passengers who was in one of the trains, uh, in the train cars in the back of the train. And uh, he said he was, he was going to uh, Orlando from Philadelphia. So they are in the middle of their route and now trying to figure out what to do. Have more than a dozen volunteers and staff that are either on their way here or here right now. Those uh, staff members and volunteers are coming from across the state to assist with this effort. We have emergency response vehicle that's coming as well that will be at the reception site to provide water and snacks and those sorts of things. And we are going to continue to work with uh, the government partners you see up here with first responders and assist them as the, uh, the investigation and as the day progresses. Again, the Red Cross is going to be here for as long as needed. We're going to step in and any way that we are asked to help because obviously today is quite a tragic day for so many people and the Red Cross is going to be here to help for as long as we're needed. Thank you. Yeah, so there was a train collision and derailment near Charleston Highway and Pine Ridge Drive uh, between a freight train and a passenger train. When we arrived on scene, uh, we began assisting passengers off of that train. At this time, there are no passengers on the train. It's very important to point that out. Um, there were about 70 passengers that were transported to local area hospitals for various injuries. There were two fatalities, according to the Lexington County, Sher or Lexington County Coroner's Office. Say a prayer for these people involved. We had 148 people on the train, 139 passengers, the eight Amtrak personnel, two of which have, um, have uh, been killed in the accident. That has been confirmed by the coroner, that is two of the Amtrak personnel. Again, it's at 235 this morning on the line. This is a CSX line that is roughly uh, south, a little bit east of Columbia, just so uh, it crosses under 321 headed to Charleston, the Charleston Highway, which runs parallel to, to I-26 headed to Charleston. This is just a little bit south of where 77 joins I-26 to, to get right around Dixiana and Pine Ridge. But it's 235 this morning. The CSX train was, was uh, only the track uh, awaiting uh, later movement and the Excuse me, the, the CSX train, Amtrak, was headed south, coming from New England, headed to, we presume, Florida, and the collision, collision occurred. Um, 116 people have been taken uh, to local hospitals. Uh, some have very minor injuries, some are a little more serious, but uh, they are being cared for. And let me give you this number. Anybody who wants to find out about their loved ones or friends, the number to call, this is an Amtrak uh, uh, number. Of course, they have the details on who was on the train and so forth. It's 1-800-523-9101.